Hello YouTube, this is FluffyBear69 here, bringing you another UBK tutorial, the UBK series. Um, this is going to be about how to open a door in, using Kismet in the UBK engine. This is a fairly simple tutorial, but it's going to introduce you to Kismet, which, if you don't know what this is already, it's a graphical coding interface to a point. I wouldn't really call it coding at all because you're not coding, you're just using little um, graphics and then wiring to other things. So it's just use, it's just a really simple way to have action in a game and pretty much anyone can do it. It's pretty easy, just learning the, the basics of it is all you need and you can go from there and expand. So let's, let's get going. Um, first of all, what you're going to need is a scene here, like I have. You don't have to be this extravagant, all you need is a door. And maybe some walls around it. But basically all you need is a door. What you have to do is highlight whatever you're using in the door. Right click. Go to... Um, no, double click on it, actually. Then movement. Go to physics. It's going to be on none. Change physics to interpolating. What this does is it allows the door to move using matinee. What matinee is, is when you open up Kismet, you're going to go to new matinee, click on it, and it's going to come up with this. Um, with, make sure your door is selected in the interface, and then double click on matinee. It'll bring up this window. And what this is, is just a timeline of events, so you can, you can make objects do stuff within this timeline. I'm not sure what a lot of this stuff does, because I, I haven't really covered it too extensively, but the basics are really all I've used and all I've needed to use, so um, that's what I'm going to show you, and I hope you guys like this. So, right click on in this little box, it's not this little rectangle. Right click on that and add new empty group. It's going to ask you to name the group, just name it whatever you want. So, like uh, door one, and within that group, right click on door number one and go to new movement track. The movement track will allow you to move whatever the object is selected in the editor but you have to make sure it's an interpolating actor or a movement action. So what we're going to do is drag this black thing, this black line to one second. Now, go up here and add a keyframe. It's this little bracket. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's for, it's for adding a frame. So add that frame in. And when you have that frame selected, go to the door, hit space to change it to rotating tool, and rotate it whatever direction you want. And I, you can do it as far as you want, as like little as you want. You want to make sure your character can get through it. So what I found is 90 degrees is a pretty good distance. Yeah, it might not look super realistic because it's exactly straight, so if you want, you can kind of either move it up, open a little bit more, close a little bit more. I usually just do that 90 though. So, after you do that, if you drag this black slider, you'll see your door opening and closing. This is the play animation, and this is the reverse animation. So you can do an open and close sequence, but that gets a little more complicated, and I may show you that in a later tutorial. So once you're done with that, exit out of this and open up Chism again. All this is is a sequence and it has no nothing attached to it to make the door open or close. So what, now what you have to do is you have to use a trigger. So right click on the area in front of the door and go to add actor, add trigger. Once the trigger is added, I usually like to scale it up a bit. It's kind of hard, it's really touchy but I usually do about that and then drag it out to where it's not going through the door and set it about right there. 
With this selected, go into your Kismet window and right click. Go to New Event using Trigger 2 and do Touch. What this means is whenever your character answers the circumference of this trigger, it will do something, whatever you tell it to do. And what else, the other type of trigger that we're going to do is a go down, right click again, New Event using Trigger 2, and go to Used. What this means is you're going to have to press the E key to activate whatever it, whatever this is doing. So E is a universal key binding for a trigger used, and you can change it, but it requires code to do this, and it's highly extensive and complicated. So we're not going to learn about that in today's tutorial. But what you want to do is you're going to have these black boxes, used and unused, Connect the used to play, and that will, whenever you press E on the keyboard when standing in this trigger, it will play the matinee sequence. What we're going to use the touch for is we're going to play an announcement. So we're going to have to right click, new action, voice announcements, play announcement. Put the touched square, link the touched and the in together. Click on the play announcement and a box should come up like here might be here might be on the bottom but for i have it on the side and in this box it will have announcement sound which we're not going to do you can add your own voice in it or whatever you want or you can do announcement text so what i'm going to do and i'm just going to say um let's see, press quotes E to interact and then just unclick that so what we have right here is whenever you walk into the trigger it will play the announcement press E to interact so when you see that you press the E on the keyboard it will trigger this used and then play the matinee sequence one last thing that we have to do is click on the trigger used and in this, in the properties window, you will see a sequent event used uh, subfolder, and then make sure that's clicked down, and it'll say aim to interact, and it'll be checked by default. You want to uncheck that. What this means is, if you have it checked, you have to look directly at the trigger icon in order to trigger it. So it's not very practical. I've never found a use to use that for. Maybe I will someday, but I. I really can't think of anything. So after we do that, we are we're done using that. So now you just exit out of Kismet and you can play the game. And if you walk up to the door, I'll say press E to interact, press E, the door will open, walk through. And in the, for this basic tutorial, I'm not going to show how to close it or open it from the other side. So right now it's just going to say. And I think that will give you a good basis on introduction to Kismet and how to easily open the door using that name. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you liked it, you can subscribe, like it. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Thank you.